Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This video is all about LCF or my experience at the London College of Fashion in the United Kingdom for those who are planning on joining. Now I studied a master's course a few years ago and uh, most MA courses in the UK are just one year long but they are intense and difficult to say the least. Overall, for me, the course was so enlightening and so informative and I got to learn things on an international scale, things I would not have picked up if I was studying in India. I came up close and personal with a few fashion giants like Kering. I also was lucky enough to attend a seminar conducted by the Stella McCartney and eventually we did have a collaborative project of sorts between um, her company and LCF as well. LCF also has these hubs with high-tech softwares and 3D printing and there's a place called CSF. Okay, in short, they had a lot of amazing stuff, which I will keep for another video. But this video, I have four pointers for you, which might help you if you are considering to apply to LCF. Before I begin, I want to say congrats on thinking about this. You are pretty cool. With that said, let's dive into the first point. And if I'm looking at my left, it's because I have my notes here below which I made for you all, so not because this is my better view, not at all. So the first thing I want to talk about is how I got in. So for a long time, I was very keen on going to the UK to study. I really, really wanted to get into LCF, but I had a whole lot of colleges as a backup in case I did not get into LCF. I had also applied to Brighton University, Loughborough, um, Edinburgh University, the University of Westminster, UCA or the University of Creative Arts and if I'm right I got into most of these and luckily I also got into LCF. Initially I regularly kept a check on the LCF website to see when admissions would open. Here's a tip for you, I also kept in touch with people on LinkedIn, people who had studied at LCF, who also kept me updated on what was happening in the college, when semesters were starting, when courses would open, etc, etc. I think it's important for you to do that now especially because things are changing up a lot with COVID. Regarding what you will need when you apply for admissions, each course has its own requirements, but for my course, which was a master's, of course you will be needing a degree, first of all, a bachelor's in a fashion-related course. And as a general rule of thumb, you need to have a good portfolio and a high CGPA, two things that will get you direct entry into any course that you want. Also, you don't need job experience of any kind to get admission into an MA course. So in my class, for example, there were 22 year olds with barely any experience and then there were 45 year olds with plenty and plenty of experience. So it was a total mix. I would say it's never too early or too late to apply for a master's. Once you apply and you get through, there will also be an interview stage where you will be interviewed by one of the lecturers at LCF. I remember my interview being a bit stressful. I tried my best to hold it together. Questions that were asked at me during my interview were very specific to my course, the course that I was applying. So if you have any doubts regarding that, just link it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Once you get past the interview stage, you will be notified via email if you have been selected for the course or not, if you have been given admission or not. And um, once that is done, you can go ahead and complete the payment of your fees and get your visa sorted, etc, etc. The second thing that I want to talk about is expense. Now, London is a very expensive city. Um, most items or products that you would pick up in London, that you would buy in London, are roughly three to four times the cost that you have here in India. For example, I remember going to a store and picking up one sandwich, which cost me about three to four pounds, which is about 300 to 400 rupees, which is pretty crazy for a sandwich. The same goes for transport and rent as well. Your course fees are going to be very high as well. And throughout the year, there are going to be these hidden expenses that keep cropping up from time to time related to your course. And at the end of the year, you would have spent a bomb. So my honest advice is that if you think this is something you cannot afford, do not go for it. If you are passionate about a master's course, but you feel like you are financially struggling at the moment, I would say go to a good fashion college in India, probably Pearl or Nift or any of the good ones, 
and it will serve you just as well. Also, on a lighter note, LCF has the Thara Nirula scholarship for Indian students specifically. I'm going to list um, the link to the scholarship below in my description so you guys can get the latest details that are up on the website um, about it. The third thing that I want to talk about is the MA course specifically that I had studied. Now, MA courses, like I mentioned, are one year long. You will not have classes every day. So there will be off days once in a while here and there for you to just um, study or do some research or complete any classwork or homework, anything of that sort. In your class, there will be practice based units where you can actually build and work on prototypes. And I specifically remember a few of my classmates and I, we actually built an app from scratch, an app that could be used to trace and track your carbon footprint. So that was pretty cool. You get to do some high intensity fashion stuff in class. There will also be lots of presentations and group activities happening on a regular basis. You will get to have one-on-ones with your lecturer, which I personally find really nice and personal. And um, here they will give you feedback and tell you how you can improve, etc, etc. And coming to assessments, you will have formative and summative assessments, which you have to submit and you will be graded on. So LCF follows a grading system. And I think anything B and above is considered good. But if you get an A, a feat I achieved on rare occasions, unfortunately. What? The course is shit difficult, man. If you get an A, you are pure awesomeness. A lot of the master's courses end with a final thesis or a dissertation, which is submitted by the student on a topic of interest to you. Here, you will be expected to research and study a lot. And trust me when I tell you, this will be a learning experience like no other, because you will be assigned a mentor who will really push you to research and study and to gather data and to conduct interviews from multiple source points and from books and from existing research papers and theses, etc, etc. There is a lot of work to be done at the end, basically. <laughs> the college will retain one copy of your dissertation and you will get a copy with you as well. The fourth thing that I would like to talk about is the facilities at LCF. LCF is no doubt one of the best fashion colleges in the world and it really lives up to its rank. The college itself and its facilities are top tier. The teachers are so well versed with their subjects and you will get to learn a lot from them. Like I said in the beginning of this video, LCF has a lot of close tie-ups with industry leaders so you will get up close and personal with a lot of them. There will be industry speaker programs and these social events where you can get a chance to um, speak and interact to these industry leaders and get to know the workings of the fashion industry. The people here are warm and welcoming, which is a point I have to specify because um, a lot of people have this misconception that people in the fashion industry are very stuck up or uptight or materialistic which is not true at all the people here are very welcoming and very kind and are genuinely interested in your well-being so that concludes my four points and overall i would say that for me it was a very enriching experience and i left lcf feeling much more confident in myself and my area of study I would also recommend going abroad to study because honestly it's eye-opening and it's a whole other level of epicness. I hope I was able to give you a quick insight into what studying at LCF would be like and if you guys have any more questions then please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Also subscribe and um, share this video with somebody who it might be useful to. Thank you guys and see you in my next video.